Are you ready for Arcadi? First launch review for 2024. See, no crowd. Best time to come is now. Hey, hello. <laughs> 哦，谢谢谢谢，可以可以，谢谢 for the support。你不介意哦？啊，不会不会不会，来来来，我好像敢教你的 private。不会啦。谢谢你给我们一些好 education。哦，谢谢，没没问题没问题。Thank you。好 ，Thank you。If you want to know all the good news that my members are buying day to day, you can actually go to Instagram and join my Huat channel. What I call Arcadey, the only arcade I know is the Raffles Place, that one. So now we have a new Arcadey at City Fringe at Bunking by KSH and SLB Development. Total of 172 units, TOP 2027. Before this project is actually Euro Asia Apartments, it only has 84 units. By now, if you look at my previous videos, when there is a new launch from on block side, developer will usually buy an on block land plots that can build more than three times. But for this case, it's not three times. From 84 units to 172 units, it's only 2.04 times. Developer also want to make money, ma. so usually they will find plots that can build at least three times. So at only 2.04 times, I don't know how are they going to make money or are they going to sell higher. Never mind, I will show you the indicative price later. Developer bought this at 222 million, which works out to be 1,313 per square feet for a free whole site. It's actually very cheap for city fringe plot for example the previous new launch in city fringe like grand Dunman and tembusu grand their per square feet per plot ratio is about 1003 plus per square feet as well but those are 99 lease hole so now let me give you a good tip many people misunderstand that this is a cheap freehold site you must understand that small site is equivalent to lower per square feet bigger site equivalent to higher per square feet so this is a tip for you so for this case 1330 per square feet for a small site is actually a bit on the high side. What is the estimated launch price? I will be guessing with their 15% profit margin, they should be selling their three bedrooms at around 2,450 per square feet. Wow, eh, 2,004 plus per square feet. Ah. By now, you should know that I am a fan of big project and not a fan of small project. This is the location, the Arcadi freehold site going to launch this month, 2024. And the MRT is here. Lah, oh. From Arcadi to your Bunke MRT station is 500 meters, which is 7 minutes walk. If you have long legs like me, it's about 5 minutes. If you have bomb bomb kind of legs, it's around 7 to 10 minutes. I remember the walk has no shelter, so when it rains, you chui lah. Now let's look at the site plan. Wow, so small. Ah. So as we all know that Serangoon Road over here is very, very busy. It always jam one la. Wow, la wey. From City Square Mall to Arcadi, ah, you can see how jam it is. These five stacks, you face the famous Serangoon Road. Ah. Super exciting. Eh. And the noisiest goes to... Noise levels around Serangoon recorded the highest average of 73.1 decibels. Every day you have this kind of melody la. When you cook, when you do laundry, when you play with your kids, when your burglar come in, your dog bark, you cannot hear because you have this kind of sound ma. Aiyya. Then never mind la. We go to Eight River Suites condo and play tennis la. I call that the Ramesh condo. You know there's a lot of hoo ha in that project. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, don't play play ah. the security guard very fierce ah. don't tell anyone that I tell you to go there and play tennis eh. if not you will be the next Ramesh ah. everyone if you think that this video has some value remember to hit the subscribe button this is the unit mix so many different type ah. Ayyo. so for one then two better usually people buy for investment which consists 50.6% of the entire project the rest Three beta, four beta, and penthouse is about 49.4%. Okay, quite balanced. Now let me show you the floor plan and my estimated launch price for each floor type. One beta, 527 square feet. This one's special, got one study. Starting from 2510 per square feet, my estimated average 1.37 million, 2600 per square feet. Wow, 2006 per square feet. Ah. 
Okay, never mind, a reminder. Because it's freehold. And most Singaporeans like freehold because they thought that freehold is very atas. You are wrong la. Not all freehold makes money. 99 years leasehold perform better than freehold. But only one freehold is the best, which is landed properties. You can hear the background sound because this unit faces your famous Serangoon Road. Two bed, two bath. Hi yo. I like. At least they don't build two bed, one bath. Ah, got more standard. This is a good two bed, two bath size. Six, seven, eight square feet. Enclosed kitchen. Cannot walk, hey? Because you don't have window here for safety reason. From 2,005 per square feet. Estimated average 1.76 million. 2,600 per square feet. Next. Three bed, two bath plus study. 1087 square feet. So you have enclosed kitchen. This one. Okay. From 2,390 per square feet, average 2.67 million, 2,460 per square feet. 2.6 million. Whoa. You can buy resale, four bedroom, very high floor, city fringe as well. Three bed, three bath plus storeroom and study. I do have the starting price, so my guess estimated 3.38 million, 2,450 per square feet. Four bed, three bath, 1,410 square feet. Yeah. Oh, everyone, this light, ah. Branded one, how much? Uh? It's 20 over 1,000 eh. Starting from 2,560 per square feet, average 3.67 million, 2,600 per square feet. Uh, for this unit, same thing. Uh. You cool, you wash your place, you will have the, this sound. Uh. The last layout is for giant, giant. I don't say lah. Penthouse, 2,433 square feet. The price, Tokong one. Estimated average 5.6 million, 2,300 per square feet. Do you know that at this price ah, you can buy city fringe, freehold, landed, semi D leh. You know buying a property is also status ah, in Singapore. Imagine you ask your friend, hey, where you stay ah? Then your friend answer, uh, I stay in Boon King. Then you will reply, oh, HDB flat ah? No la, condo. Then your heart, che, okay. Or, hey, where you stay? Oh, I stay in landed. Enough? Sengkong now, successful already. So what you have learned, for some price range, when you want to exit, come on, the next buyer will also be very savvy, will be like, hey, instead of buy this, I will buy a next better level one, which is, landed for this case lah. To know whether Arcadia can make money, very simple. Just look at the performance of the surrounding projects. However, there's only one good example lah, which is three residences, which is also a freehold project, which is located here. Before you check the performance ah, I already know ah, this project ah. <sighs> three residences, freehold, completed 2021, small project, 117 units. And note that this project launched September 2018 ah. So by now, that must be a few transactions ma. Wow, over the last 6 months ah, only got 2 and both are 1 beta. So 1,008, per square feet at this price. What can you learn from this transaction? That means people buy for investment ah. No one buy here for stay on. So do you want to buy into a family oriented project whereby you go to a swimming pool, there's a lot of uh, fun, there's people playing in the pool, throwing water at each other. Ah, you see got people playing, laughing. Or you go to a pool, no people one. These are investment-based projects. Okay, the most important thing, these two transactions, got make money or not? After you have watched so many of my videos, you have learned that usually one beta performance is usually, you are right, 100 to 150,000. So how about this project? Very good, there are six profitable transactions and zero unprofitable transactions. Out of these six units, this is considered good, this is bad, this is worse for the one beta. You minus agent fee, all the interest and holding costs. You lose money, right? So for a two beta, this is considered not too good. This is not good. This is okay. So overall, you can see that this project, hi, uh, like that. Law. Now let me show you a new method to see whether the new launch pricing is good, overpriced, or undervalued. Step one, you need to aga how much three residences, three beta per square feet first. And since we don't have the three bedroom transactor price, since one beta is 1,950, maybe a two beta 1,009, and the three beta at 1,008 per square feet. Number two, 
What is the age gap between three residences and Arcady? Three residences completed in 2021, Arcady going to complete in 2027. Now you know the gap is six years, it will be half per square feet difference, which is 300 per square feet. Arcady being brand new should be, you add 300 to 1008, should be around 2001 per square feet. But in this case, Arcady is selling at 2004, 2005 per square feet. You know that it is. Wow, I do not know how you make money lah. Which is a very risky, risky investment. I'm sorry, I am very frank one eh. Ah yeah, for those people who love Boon King so much, you like to eat one toe steak, which is opposite Arcady, then go and buy lah. And let's say you buy a 2004 per square feet lah. You have a big competition from the leasehold project nearby, which is Ramesh Kondo, just opposite Arcady. And the competition is not just 100 over units like three residences. Eight River Suites has 843 units leasehold completed 2016. Not only you have this kind of competition, look at the price. One bed 1,008 per square feet. This is a 282 bath price, 1,700 plus per square feet or higher floor, 1,009 per square feet. Look at their three bedroom price. This is their three bed, two bath plus storeroom, 1,006 plus per square feet. At this price, you can't even get a three bedder in Arcady. La. I'll show you the performance. 223 profitable transactions, not too bad, but sadly, 15 unprofitable transactions. This one lose a finger, this one lose one leg. This one, you go home, your dog don't want to recognize you. For profitable transactions, even the sub sale at 2019, four years, they make about 100k which is good this is another good one three bedroom made 400,000 in three years see i told you already this whole perform better than freehold eh how many times must i say so for those people who like freehold 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 condo change your change your mindset this way then you will change your wealth now let's summarize for location yes it is near Bunking mrt station but every time I heard about Bunking MRT station opposite Wantos area, all the small boutique projects like Moonstone area, it is totally very, very bad. There's only one reason that I don't like about this area is because this area, the condos don't perform at all. But you can tell me, hey, but it's very near Polon Passe. I'm so sorry to tell you, Polon Passe is Polon Passe. This area is this area. And because Singapore is small, just one street away, ah, the difference can be very, very huge. It's a good 2024, I'll be giving four. Wow, so good lah. I think uh, I give three, and because it's near MRT and one toe I give one more point. Launch pricing. I feel that the rapper is not wrong to sell at this price. However, it's all about whether I buy at this price, will it perform? It's all about whether my money will grow. And because there's no one who transacted at this per square feet before, I totally don't have confidence. So for launch pricing, four. <laughs> Why so many four? As it strategy, I don't have confidence that you can make money. Four. Overall service score, four stars. The first new launch review, 2024, let's give all four la. So let's start the fun now. How much is the percentage sold on launch day? I guess 14%, also N is four. And my wife, more positive, 25%. This is my company's number. Please do not contact us because to celebrate the launch of this project, I am flying away. I hope that everyone who buys RKE will be a giant giant huakui in 3 years. If you want to stay tuned to my channel, remember to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Hey, one oh, <laughs> Never mind. There's a lot of food here.